Well, hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jay, and today I'm gonna to help you dial in some great tones with the Two Notes Torpedo Remote using this lovely Cab M Plus. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about two notes stuff today, uh, and I got the Cab M, a little M plus here. And what this box does is it's at its heart, it's a really powerful cab simulator for your rig. So instead of having to worry about miking cabs, or if you have to be really particular about how quiet you need to be in a certain situation, doing theater shows or practicing at home, recording at home, uh, this thing has a selection of different cabs, different mics you can use to like virtually mic these cabs. It's a very, very powerful device with lots of stuff. You can use it with an amp, you can use it with a preamp pedal, you could even plug directly into it to come up with some great clean sounds. Now, I've actually done a video on the Cab M Plus before. Well, it was back then it was the, called the Cab M, but it's pretty much the same thing. And I'm really proud of that video. I'm really happy where it goes. So I highly recommend you watch it. But today uh, I'm going to talk about something a little bit particular. And that is a lot of people have been asking me uh, how to really dial in some really great sounds using uh, the Bluetooth app for this thing. And uh, I could understand, you know, when you open up an app, sometimes things get a little bit overwhelming. And I'm going to kind of show you my approach to dialing in some sounds and hopefully we can come up with some really, really fun sounds together. So let's hook this thing up and uh, make some beautiful, beautiful music. All right, we are all wired up and ready to go. So as I said, uh, this thing can handle a lot of different inputs. Uh, you could use your guitar amp, uh, you can use a preamp pedal, but in this case, since we're really kind of focusing in on the app and everything like that, I'm actually gonna plug my guitar right into it. So it's actually my guitar going straight into it, and we'll see what kind of tonal manipulations we can get going on here. So uh, right now, I have it connected uh, wirelessly uh, through Bluetooth to my iPad, and you can tell that is the app right there in all of its glory, all the cool stuff and everything like that. So uh, let's try to find a way <laughs> to get a pretty cool sound out of it, because right now I have it going just direct. So everything is off, and it's just as like the sound of my guitar going into the unit straight to uh, my computer with no processing. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> Just a straight up direct sound. You know, actually to be honest, I kind of like it. I don't know. Maybe I just like this guitar too much. <laughs> so uh, let's go start manipulating it. So uh, the first thing we want to do is I like to turn on three things if we're going to do tones from scratch and no amp. And that is we have to kind of have an amp here. So we have a power amp that I'm gonna turn on and we have a preamp that I am going to turn on. Now, if you have a preamp pedal, you can turn off the preamp here and keep the power amp on. And if you're using an amp that's using its power amp, you could turn that off as well. But since we have neither, we'll turn both on. And the last thing we're gonna turn on is 
a cabinet. We need like a cabinet to create our sound to finish our amp. So over here is our cabinets and you can tell I actually have different cabinet sizes and a small collection. Uh, this thing actually has a lot more cabs that it comes with and everything, but I'm only using a small collection of cabs uh, from this pack that they released called Lazy Days, uh, which is like this summery kind of Fendery, clean, sparkly kind of uh, amp cab collection. So I'm just pulling it from that and I guess we'll come up with some like sparkly kind of sounds. All right, so the one I really like is the 212 and it's called the Clean Deluxe. So I guess it's like a twin reverb kind of thing. Uh, open back 212 sound. So right now, um, let's turn on one of the mics. Let's do mic A, I'll unbypass it. Here we go. And this is pretty much just what we got, let's just change the mic here. Let's go, I don't know, a Tube 67, there we go. And this is just the straight up tone of the preamp, the power amp, and the, the cabinet. All right, so now let's start shaping it to make it sound exciting and like nice and crispy. It's a little bit like woofy for me. So uh, we can play with power amp settings. Uh, these are the different kind of power amp tubes and configurations, uh, like a KT-88 kind of has a different sound to it. And then we have a EL-84. A lot of crispiness and character to that EL84 actually. And then there's even like single ended tubes, which is like a single tube. Uh, here's a 34. All right, so since we're going like, you know, Fendery, let's go with the 6L6s. I'm gonna go back to the 6L6s. We have a contour knob, which I guess is the overall shape of it. You can hear, hear it kind of veers towards like a more bright sound down here. And then as I go up, Kind of has more of a wolfy sound. So let's find a sweet spot. Uh oh, we're getting a good sound now. This is depth. This is going to create, you know, how, exactly how full that sound is. Since we're going open back, I might put up the uh, depth knob a little bit more. We have Pento Triode, that's kind of how it's set up. You want to set it up in a triode state. It's a simpler kind of sound, less high end, more mids. I feel there's more character in Pento. And now we can play with the preamp. The preamp is really where we start doing some major, uh, like, tone shaping, tone, the preamp's kind of like those knobs you see right in the front of your amp most of the time. sound now. Now we can tell we got a really cool bass. Let's kind of tweak around with the uh, uh, the microphones here. Uh, there's different microphones. One I really like in this cap is the C800G. It's based off of a Sony mic, which I'll never be able to afford. <laughs> Now I could choose how far away, the more further away I get, I guess we kind of lose some of the ultra lows. Kind of thins it out a little bit. Axis is kind of how centered or away from the middle of the cone it's, uh, the speaker is gonna be. It gets more bright as I get here. So it's like a lovely balance, like finding the sweet spot of all these things. I 
I'm really liking this. Now, if you listen carefully, there's a small little amount of hum. It's because I have single coil pickups. Uh, there's the noise gate here, so I can always press the noise gate and that sound goes away. Let's hear it off and on. Just takes a little of the edge off. There's also a tuner here too. There you go. <laughs> but I think I'm in tune. I think I'm in tune. Now let's add a little bit of reverb. Uh, this is the reverb over here. And we have a couple different presets here. Uh, a lot of different sounds. If we want to do like a big, you know, ooh, a crypt, like a nice. Here's a nice one. This one's called, uh, what was the one that I really like? Oh, where did it go? A loft. Oh no, wait, that's basement. This is loft. I can make it a little bit softer there. But the one I really go to the most often is just straight up plate. You can even get nice and open with it too. All right, let's, you could even, uh, let's use the color knob, pull it back just to make it a little bit darker sounding. All right, we got a pretty cool sound that we're playing with. Uh, now we could add a couple other things like EQ to even tweak the sound further. Now you can obviously change a lot of the EQ by changing the distance and the access of your mic, uh, changing with the preamp and the power amp. This EQ is kind of like that overall thing. So once you have your sound pretty dialed in the way you want, I'm pretty happy with that. I might just turn down the treble a touch here. We could turn on the EQ and just do like the big overall stuff. Add a little bit of 800K. If you ever think of like a tube screamer, that's like 800. That's the nice stuff right there. If you want to dig in even deeper with the EQ, you can go to the custom setting where you could actually dial in the exact frequencies you want to cut out or add, uh, but I'll keep it for simple sake. I'll just stick with the guitar. Uh, the last one we're going to look at before we start playing a little bit extra stuff is the enhancer. Now, uh, the enhancer I find just makes everything sound better, but it's easy to get carried away. So I like to use the enhancer right at the end, just to give me that last little bit of tonal shaping to give me a little bit of the like extra magic. And it, I usually use it to dial in what I feel is lacking. So right now, I don't think a lot is lacking actually, but let's turn on the enhancer. So there's a dry wet, we'll put it on a little bit on the drier side. We have body, which is kind of compresses the, uh, that kind of the lower end. Gives you that nice. And then there's a little thickness to add a little bit of that. Now there is brilliance, but I find that the open back nature of this cab is giving me enough of it. But I'll, I'll put a little in just for fun, maybe. And I think we got ourselves a really cool sound.
So let's go play with some other cabs here. Uh, let's go to another one I really like, which is a 410, the 12 Bar Blues Club. So you can hear this is a lot brighter. A 412 cab has a much different characteristic. It seems faster and a little bit more kind of in your face shrill sometimes if it's... <laughs> oh. hear that kind of Now we have two mics that we can play with. This is mic B, and let's add it. What you can do is you could add a different kind of mic. So let's say like a 57, or we have 421s. So what you can do, well, let's get a 7B. A 7B is a very bassy sounding kind of uh, mic. So what you could do is we could actually put it up pretty close, keep the distance low, and put it a little off axis, and then we'll back this up. And then mixing kind of like the more full range condenser mic, with mic B, which is a little bit more fuller, might give us a little bit more of that low end that we lost. Now, one thing I actually like to do, instead of putting two mics in the front of the amplifier, I actually like to put a mic on the back, especially for an open cab, uh, like a 410 super kind of reverb thing. That way you can kind of get that low end that kind of comes off the back and get that three dimensional sound you get with an open back cab. And we can do that. You see there's a little switch here to switch that to the back. And if I press this button, you can actually see the back of the cab. And then what I can do is I could just move that to where I want it. And I could just dial in so that extra low end from the back. Check this out. I'm gonna have it all the way up and blend it in. <laughs> That's really cool. We, we were, it's amazing how much a different speaker or a different cabinet can make a difference on your overall sound. Uh, let's try a couple more. This is a 112 and you'll hear, uh, this is called the deluxe. This one gets much kind of boxier sounding. <laughs> let's do a spring reverb with this. Let's get like a traditional ribbon mic in front of it too, a 121. Bring it up a little bit closer, a little bit more on action. Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, one more cap, one more cap. And we're gonna go a little bit outside uh, the, the box here. The last cap in this, like, oh, well, there's 10 caps in this uh, series, but the last one we're gonna look at is the uh, Victoria, what is it called here? The Victory Duchess 112 Classic. And the cool thing about this is the other cabs uh, we were using were kind of based off of very American sounding speakers, uh, where this one has a British speaker. It's a, what, a G12, I think. Yeah, G12M, so a creamy back over there. And uh, you can tell if you look at the back, it's still open back, but has a very different character compared to that deluxe. That still sounds really good. Let's go for uh, less of a reverb sound, more of a hall. Oh, actually, hall's good. What I meant to do was studio. Let's see here. Let's go studio B. And then let's add a little bit of overdrive. Over here, we got the, uh, the English toffee. Let's see what that sounds like. goodness and that is playing around with the torpedo uh was it the torpedo remote super cool stuff it's a lot of fun cab m really versatile unit have a wonderful day everybody well that is it that is the video thank you all so much for watching please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already check out the links in the description below and if you want to hear my review on the torpedo cab m plus check it out on patreon i do all my reviews on patreon sponsored by the patreon supporters and all my demos and tutorials all the other stuff here on youtube uh, as i said all the cabs heard today are from the new uh lazy days pack which is a very american uh sparkly summery wonderful kind of uh california thing so check out that pack if you uh, want to get that kind of sound that being said I'll see you all soon take care and goodbye